admit the picture isn't pretty. But humanity wasn't in conflict with you. Why, why do you hate us? I'm not. Why shouldn't you know why we hate you? I'm listening. Tens of thousands of years ago, my people were on Earth. It's Easter Island. Before Atlantis fell. There are statues of bird people there today. I'm surprised you would know. I was briefed. You heard that we had wings. Living wings. And the power of flight. The solar legend goes. The legend is true. For a hundred thousand years we lived in peace. And in the next hundred thousand years, your race arose and spread across the earth like a plague. In conflict and violence with them wherever they went. Finally, inevitably, they stumbled across us. You can guess what happened then. And I think you may know why. There are people who will always be threatened by the new and the different. People. Humans slaughtered almost all of my ancestors. Those that escaped went out to the stars. Some came here. They were so frightened of being different. They never flew again. And bred the ability out of future generations. We are the result. We have the flying instinct, but we cannot physically use it and all because of humans. That was a long, long time ago. It was yesterday. If you had been with me a few weeks ago, you would have seen the bodies of my people littering the ground around the last home they had on this planet. It was a pathetic little village of huts. It's all we had. And why? It is fun for humans to kill birds. Like your ancestors. Your ancestors who used to hunt pheasants. The sport. How many species did you wipe from the face of the earth? Passenger pigeons? The giant storks? The bald eagle? The condor? Anything with wings was fair game. Anything with wings was fair game. That is Hawk. From Buck Rogers, that is the incredible Hawk, Tom Christopher, played by the actor Tom Christopher. And this is Will. This is Sci-Fi Guy. And we're going to talk about the cool factor, I'd say. The coolness factor. Or maybe the cooler factor. Perhaps the coolest factor of Hawk versus Buck Rogers. Now... I don't know. I mean, I don't relish sort of a competition, a challenge, but why not? Certainly in terms of characters. And of course, this comes from Buck Rogers in the 25th century. The great sci-fi show from 79 to 81. Classic Buck Rogers. Born of the creator, uh, developer Glenn Larson. And Leslie Stevens. Now, Glenn Larson had done Battlestar Galactica, the original, and Leslie Stevens had done, of course, The Outer Limits. So it's a pretty nice, you know, uh, resume between the two, and certainly they knew their science fiction. Of course, Buck Rogers was developed, uh, or, you know, was born a long, long time ago before the 71 series. So this was sort of a uh, a translation, a uh, sort of interpretation of Buck Rogers. And of course, Hawk, the character Hawk, was entirely new. He was created for the, uh, for the TV series and for the second series. The first season, there was no Hawk. The first season, though, was, though was successful, 
didn't sort of gel, perhaps. People was like, oh, you know, we need more. Certainly the, uh, I think they were saying, you know, Gil Gerard was really like, you know what? We need something different. And lo and behold, they did a second season and many people look upon it as sort of a Star trek uh, you know, pursuit and uh, tweaking. Now, even even in the uh, the fan circle, so to speak, they look upon the second season as sort of Star Trek as a way before Next Generation, where way before Star Trek: The Next Generation, you had Buck Rogers in the twenty fifth century. The second season, this comes from the wiki. Uh, the character of Wilma Deering was softened in the second season as the producers attempted to tone down the militaristic Colonel Deering image. Um, production of the second season was delayed by several months due to an actor strike. So when production resumed, they brought in a new set of producers. And they wanted to make it Star Trek-ish, as you could say. The substance of the storylines changed in the second season. Less emphasis was placed on the military ideals. And it was scaled back in terms of humor in favor of more serious episodes. Buck and Wilma's relationship became slightly more romantic during the second year though most romantic activity was implied and took place off screen. Now, the big Star Trek sort of element, um, they say, is in addition to its parallels to previous TV series like Battlestar Galactica, the second season is similar to Star Trek, with the Searcher, that's Buck's starship, roaming through space much like the Enterprise had been, and Buck being the maverick explorer true to the style of James T. Kirk. And then here, here comes Hawk, and the serious, rather stoic Hawk being a revamped version of Mr. Spock. Now, you heard in the clip that I played in the beginning, he was um, a bird man, so to speak. He was um, from a people of birds or, you know, bird-like people, warrior people. But they lost the power of flight. So this is sort of the eternal torture of them. They can't fly. They, you know, they have all the instincts to fly. But there's no way they can do so. And I think that's the, the great you know, accomplishment that, that the actor Tom Christopher brought to this character. I think it's one of the best acted, certainly, uh, characters and performances in Buck Rogers. And just, you know, in sci-fi in general, you know, um, Tom really hit it out of the park. All, all throughout, the, the only, I think, disappointment for me is after Time of the Hawk, this is the sort of second season pilot or two-parter, which introduces Hawk. And though... All along, you know, I think there's 12 or 13 episodes of the second season because it was sort of aborted and then they, they canceled it. They canceled Buck Rogers in the 25th century in the second season. It was There was a disappointment and sort of a limiting, a scaling back of Hawk because in the first one, he's, you know, antagonistic, more, more than antagonistic. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. You should go watch Time of the Hawk. And just to say that it was with his loved one, with his mate, and this factors into the to the plot and why Hawk becomes so antagonistic and so um, you know rampaging, violent. You know, cho choose your uh, your concept and words. But th thereafter, after the time of the Hawk, the two parter, I don't want to say he becomes docile or, or subservient to Buck and the crew, but he kind of does. He just sort of almost becomes Spock like. True, he he becomes you know Spockish in a way, but he's still, you know, emotional and jovial and he becomes Buck's sidekick. So in that aspect, you know, the character fits in more with the Star Trek-esque inspired second season. But the the real visual treat of Hawk is his is his uniform, is his costume. And I call it sort of a almost a, a slickish leather man inspired bodysuit. Um, with a feathery bird cap. Now it's it's incredible what they did because back then this was well this was seventy nine well eighty probably about nineteen eighty, and we're so used to superhero costumes you know Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, uh, being so form fitting and, and realistic. And the Hawk costume I will you know submit here is one of the best. It still looks great. Maybe it was also Tom Christopher's you know physique and his athleticism. He really sold it. But the, the look and the sculpted sort of muscles and, and sort of body armor, like, uh, you know, look is, is awesome. Uh, and it really makes the character, you know, come alive. Um, and, and Tom Christopher's acting. He's just, he's just excellent. Time of the Hawk, 
I feel is one of the, just one of the best sci-fi movies. Well, TV movies are just feature features in a way because it was a two-parter, so it's almost a feature length certainly, and it's just got everything. It's um, it's sort of epic by any qualities. It even still you know stands up today. So if you don't watch, if you didn't watch, if you've never watched, please, I urge you to try the second season of Buck Rogers. Start with Time of the Hawk. And is Hawk way cooler than Buck Rogers? I'd have to say yes. I'd answer yes. <laughs> you know, Buck, I still love Buck. You're not out of luck, Buck, with me. I do love you, but Hawk, way cooler. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you guys are subscribing. If not, just subscribe to a nice freebie, free subscription. If